Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today's video is just going to be my lip gloss collection, so let's get right on into it. Also, really quick, I just want to go ahead and apologize for any background noise you guys might be hearing. There's construction right outside and the dishes are going, so yeah. Okay, so for starters, these are my favorite. These are the Fenty glosses, and these are actually the plumping ones. So they just like plump my lips and make them look more juicy, which makes me love them even more. There is three different formulas, the plumping ones, which are the heat ones, the regular ones, and then the cream ones, which I actually have not tried any of the cream glosses. So the first one that I have is this hot chocolate one. I don't wear this one too much just because it's brown, but I still love this one a bunch. This is so, so good. The second one, which this one is my favorite out of the two, this is Lemon Lava. I've already used up like nearly half of it. I've been wearing it a lot lately. It's actually what's on my lips right now. The formula is why it's my favorite. It's so thick, like without being sticky that it just lasts for hours on your lips, it's great. I think they are fully worth the price. Okay, next, the NYX ones, which I feel like everybody and their mama has these, but there's a reason for that, you know? They're so good, they're so cheap, and they come in a lot of colors. So I'll start off with my first two, which are just the regular ones. This one is strawberry cheesecake. I wish it smelled like that, I really do. I love when glosses smell like food, like mmm, it's so good when it's that way. Like when a gloss smells like a dessert, it literally makes me want to eat it. This one is a really good neutral one. This is a bit of honey and I think this one would look good on any skin tone. I don't wear the pink one as much just because I feel like it's a really like bright pink. One thing about the NYX glosses that I don't love is that they aren't really sheer and I prefer a gloss that is a little bit more translucent. This is like full coverage, like full color, if you know what I mean. And then lastly, for these little butter glosses, I have this bling one, which I did recently get like, I wanna say like three months ago. This one is Big Spender. I got this because I really like the Fenty Gloss in Fuchsia Flex. I really, really want to get that one, but I wanted to try and find a dupe first, and so I bought this. And it's not a dupe for it, but it's still really, really pretty. It's sparkly, and I love it. Anything with glitter, it has my name on it. I love glitter. Okay, next up, speaking of glitter, I have this one, which I'm going to be real with you guys, I don't like. This is Crystal Baller by Half Caked, I think. It looks like the glosses from the early 2000s, like the, the frosted lip look, which I don't love on myself personally. The formula is really cheap. It's not that great, so I wouldn't recommend this one. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection in Pretty Pony. I will say the color is really, really pretty. My biggest problem with this gloss is that it makes my lips like really chapped, like it peels my lips, which I hate when that happens. It looks so like crusty and gross and it's only with this gloss. And for however much it costs, like I forgot, like 20, 30 bucks, that is not worth it. Also, I feel like the plump isn't even that great. Like the Fenty ones are better. I mainly got it for the packaging though, so I will say it has one of the prettiest packaging of a lip gloss that I've ever seen, like hands down. I forgot to show this next one that I have, but this is the This Is Milky Gloss in Strawberry Horchata. Did I say that right? Strawberry Horchata. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like this. But this one is like really creamy um, and it gets really messy because of that. So I don't really feel like this is a good gloss. I wouldn't really recommend it because it does get all over your lips. So if you're trying to eat something or drink something, you know, just daily activities, like it's not a good gloss at all. It gets literally everywhere. It's a really, really pretty color and it smells good. But honestly, I think that's all it has going for it, unless you're okay with having to reapply a ton and it being like really messy. Okay, next up, this is my last like lip gloss, but I am gonna show you guys the rest of my lippies. So 
hang out for that. This is the Broadway Vita Lib Shea Butter Lip Gloss. This is like a dollar at the beauty store. You can get like a 10 pack on Amazon for like less than 10 bucks. So really cheap gloss, but it's really, really glossy. The only problem is, is it's super duper sticky, but I really like this gloss for a topper, like over a lip liner and lipstick. It looks really pretty and I don't care about like getting lipstick all over the package because it's so cheap. Like look, clearly I've used it over a lipstick. It just makes a really great topper. And again, it's so cheap. So it's like, you know, why not? Okay, next, my one and only lip oil, which is really sad. I really want to get more lip oils because I love lip oils way more than balms. So this is the Clarins Lip Oil in Cherry, and I've used up like a good quarter of this. It smells really nice. I love the smell. It's not like an artificial cherry smell, and it's not like too natural either, so that it's like faint. It's like the perfect amount of cherry. And I would recommend this. Um, but I would maybe recommend like the honey one because it's clear. So like for a beginning lip oil, yeah. But this is still really pretty. I love this one. Next, I will just get my lipsticks out of the way. So the most recent one I have is this NARS one, which I showed in a short. And it's really pretty. It's basically like my lips but better color, which I do love. Um, and it's really glossy. It's like really nice. But it does not last long at all. In my video, I think I said it lasts for about an hour, but it actually lasts like less than that. Like I would say 30 to 40 minutes, which is like nothing. That's nothing for a lipstick. Uh, so I would not pay full price for this and I would not repurchase it, but it is still nice to have in my collection. I would like to find a color like this though. And if you're wondering what the color is, it is Dulce Vita. Okay, the next lipstick that I have is this Too Faced one. This is the Too Faced Too Femme Heartcore Lipstick. I love the packaging. Like, Too Faced really kills it on the packaging. I wish that they would kill it with their products too. No shade. I just feel like they always do like the same thing. Like, I would just love for them to come out with like something really colorful and fun, like a rainbow palette, but whatever. I, th I guess that's just their brand, you know? So here's what it looks like. It is like a mauve color and it has like the little heart in the middle, which I believe has like nourishing ingredients. So it's actually like supposed to be moisturizing. I'm not sure, um, but I don't like this color. Like it's so cute, don't get me wrong. Like I love the heart, but the color itself is just not a good look on me. It just, it washes me out and it looks so bad. So I'll swatch it so you guys can see. Like, on my hand, it looks really pretty, but when it's on, I just feel like it's not good. Like, maybe I should try it with, like, a lip liner, um, but I'm still going to keep it just because I love the packaging. Like, it's, it's just, it's too cute. It's too cute. Okay, next, I have this Huda Beauty one, which I think I also got in a BoxyCharm, like, subscription box. This one is Bombshell. That's what it looks like. It's a really, really pretty color. I actually love this for the fall as well. The only problem is, is that it's really dry, which I understand like these kind of lipstick formulas, they're supposed to be like that, but it's so dry that it like sinks into my like lip lines or whatever. And it looks so bad, like up close. So I don't love that. It like makes my lips so dry that it feels like really like chapped and like, it's just not something I love. I love when my lips feel like really hydrated. So liquid lipsticks <laughs> So liquid lipsticks are not really my thing, but I do love this color, but it's like something you have to reapply a bunch because as soon as you like do anything with your mouth, like eat, drink, whatever, like it's going to start like peeling off in like patches. You know what I mean? Like it's just not it's not the vibe. It's not the move. Next up, I also got this in a BoxyCharm box. This is the House Labs Berry Matte La Monster Lip Crayon. This color is really pretty, and I do like berry shades, but again, if they're like sheer, because I, I just feel like sheer like lipsticks with a little bit of shade, like a little bit of color to them, that's my favorite thing ever. Did I say lipsticks? I meant lip glosses. But look at that. 
see it's so pretty it's a bit darker than this one which is why i like it it's really really pretty but it's another one that's like you gotta have like a full face of makeup to rock this thing and again like it's just not my favorite to wear it's not something that's super easy to wear you know what i mean but it is really pretty so that's why i'm holding on to it and then the last lipstick that i have is the Too faced lady bold lipstick this one is so pretty look at it it's in the shape of a heart and i love this color this color i can get behind okay let me show you guys look at it it is so so gorgeous it's just so messy like i know like all lipsticks are like that but that's why i don't like lipstick because it's so messy it gets literally everywhere and i know like some people like the lipstick people are gonna say like oh well lip gloss is messy and it gets everywhere but for me it just feels like really hydrating and i love like having the feeling of something on my lips i don't know are you a lipstick or lip gloss person comment down below so i have one two three i have five these are all my balms i do love balms for like overnight wear like sleeping so great because you put it on you wake up like fluffy soft lips 10 out of 10. first up i have this creme brulee vaseline lip therapy one and it's really really cute and i feel like the size is perfect because if you get like a big tub of it it's gonna take you like years to get through so the little ones are perfect they're also cuter then i have these little blistex like medicated lip ointment ones i've already used up like this whole thing and then i have a new one it was it came in a pack of two and i do like them for when my lips get really 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 crusty <laughs> but yeah it's really really good really really strong i do recommend those and it was pretty cheap i want to say they were like under 10 bucks for two pretty good okay so the last two balms that i have are these two i have the naturium phyto glow lip balm in lychee it's this really pretty red one i have not used this a whole bunch yet so i can't give like a full like review on how i feel about it yet i will say one thing that annoys me is like how hard it is to push the product up but the product is really thick so there is that like i'll show you guys look how hard i'm having to press to get product out it's just a little pet peeve of mine it's just a little annoying but that's what it looks like oh my gosh it's so pretty i really want to get the other one in jam but yeah i love how it looks um like i said i haven't used this long enough to tell you guys if it's like super moisturizing or not but i will do another review on this like in a short when i have used it some more okay and the last one which is also another new one is a summer fridays hot cocoa and my favorite thing about this is the packaging and the smell it smells just like the hot cocoa that i drank like growing up which i love this one is kind of like the natorium one that i just really need to like use some more of it to give you guys a good review but i will say i think it's one of those bombs that you only need one of i don't think you need like five summer fridays bombs like it's nothing like out of this world crazy good it's just like a cute little bomb like honestly i think vaseline is just as moisturizing but would i buy another one of these if i ran out probably probably okay y'all that's the end of this video i hope you guys really enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell and comment down below what other video ideas that you want to see peace